हेलो व्यूअर्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन कंप्यूटर नेटवर्क्स टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ऑन न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन आई पी बी फोर हेडर फॉर्मैट सो दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर क्वाइट सिंपल एंड इफ यू जस्ट ट्राई टू रिमेंबर दी हेडर फॉर्मैट यूल बी एबल टू गिव द सोल्यूशन विद इन नो टाइम सो वॉट टिपिकल वन टिपिकल क्वेश्चन आई एल बी सॉल्विंग इट इन टूडेज सेशन सो बट फॉर दिस टू सॉल्व यू शुड बी नोइंग द कंप्लीटली अबाउट दी different fields that are there in the ipv4 header format as well how many bits are meant for each of this field if you remember this perfectly then you can be you will be able to solve a numerical like this so what what exactly is the question the question is an ipv4 packet has arrived with the following hexadecimal digits so these are the hexadecimal digits that are there in the packet the two few of the hexadecimal digits an ipv4 packet has arrived with the following hexadecimal digits but few are given here in the problem statement so i can just write here not all hexadecimal digits few hexadecimal digits are given in the problem statement you are going to find out what is the header size okay in that packet what is the total length how many more routers the packet can travel to the fourth part they have asked is the payload belongs to which upper layer protocol and the last part in the question is how many bytes of data does the packet carry now with this given hexadecimal digits you are going to give the solution for all these five different questions that are asked for the uh, very simple way is first and foremost thing is you have to you should be knowing the different fields here totally we have how many 12 fields and you should be knowing how many bits are there for each of the field so since these are represented in hexadecimal each number here each number whatever is mentioned is of how many bits four bits each integer number that is shown in this question is what is of four bits so here also we are writing totally what in bits only the completely header format uh, the number of bits that are meant are in binary so we are writing how many bits are meant here so total completely leaving the options and padding there are 160 bits and 20 bytes so out of that these are the numbers that are mentioned so let us start from the first one header size header size where exactly is present it is present in the second field the first field is the version field so version field is what here four anyway even if it is not asked we can tell that yes this is version 4 the packet belongs to version 4 ip version 4 the next is header length header length value given here is how much 5 so 5 in binary 5 in binary is how much 0 1 0 1 fine this four bits are meant here to represent the header length but in the previous um, session i have explained you that the header length is always represented in what in four byte words that is the sender and the receiver makes use of the divide by 4 and multiply by 4 method so here the receiver has to multiply this this information is what received at the receiver side so it carries the header length value as 5 so 5 into 4 is what 20 so the size of the header length is how much 20 bytes you have you have to fi find the value in this so this one is covered the next you see the service type consist of 8 bits so 8 bits this is 4 this is 4 service type but there is no question asked on the service type will leave the next part is the total length total length represents how many 16 bits 16 bits means here you have to take these four numbers fine is there any question yes what is the total length they have asked so total length given here is 0028 0028 is in hexadecimal convert it into decimal so convert this into decimal the value for this 28 in decimal is how much 40 bytes so you can write here the answer as 40 bytes find this this also you have answered now the c part is how many more routers can the packet travel to so how to get this result how to write the answer for this c part how many more routers can the packet travel to yeah, that can be indicated from the time to leave so time to leave popularly known as ttl field because 
this packet which starts from the sender and it when it travels during the this one during transmission when it moves to the next router the router will try to decrement will decrement definitely the value of ttl by 1 every router in the path will decrement the value of ttl by 1 so it is the router okay so how many more routers can the packet travel to definitely the time to leave value can give you the number of routers also here so that way you can you can you have to identify the value that is present here in this sequence of numbers so we'll do like this total length we have completely covered but the next is identification identification is 16 bits so these are identification values flag 3 bits fragmentation offset 13 bits 3 plus 13 16 so the next 16 also we'll just write here it is not asked but flags and fragmentation these bits denotes flags and fragmentation so you have come covered this the next part is time to leave time to leave is 8 bits if it is 8 bits this is 4 this is 4 so this value is what ttl how many routers can the packet travel to only one router fine ttl value is here one so the packet will travel uh, only one router is there here so the next one is the the next part of the question is the payload belongs to which upper layer protocol and that is immediately the next field only time to leave so the protocol field so the protocol field is the one which will give you what the value for the protocol this is this this value gives what gives the value of the protocol which protocol upper layer protocol and how many 8 bits are meant here 2 to the power of 8 256 values are possible but you can remember some popular values here and uh, these values only will be asked most of the time in the question so here the value is what the protocol value is 0 2 if 0 2 which is the protocol igmp so you can write here how many uh, the payload belongs to which protocol it belongs to igmp okay the last part of the question is how many bytes of data does the packet carry now here you need to find out how many uh, what is the data size how to find out the data size because from the packet format you can easily come to know the header size fine the size uh, the, that is the size of the header and the total length with these two values you can find out what the size of the data so always remember total length is equal to header length plus header length plus data now you have to find out here the data what is the size of the data so the data will be equal to total length minus header length total length how much how much what is the value for the total length it is 40 bytes so you can write here 40 what is the value for the header length you have already determined in the previous part so it is how much 20 so this header length 20 total length 20 data size is how much 20 bytes so this is a very simple numerical typical type of numerical that can be asked on this ipv4 header format fine hope you people have followed this thank you bye bye take care